Thanks for reaching out. Anybody who's left comments, left reviews, uh, as always, follow me. Follow me everywhere. Get in your car and find me. Find my car. It's white. It's a white car. That's all I'll tell you. But can you find it? Try and find me. Anyways, let's get started. This, of course, is the Rob Stern Show. All right. Welcome. We got Emily Heller. Hi. You is now the time for my catchphrase. <laughs> I'm Emily Heller. H e double hockey sticks. E r. Great. We got Pam Murphy. Pam Murphy, always Irish. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, this game is called Hit on This. So the way Hit on This works is I'm going to give you characters and objects to hit on. At a bar, uh, you get one op- opening line. You only have five seconds. So you can take a beat to think about it. You know, you get nervous before walking up to the person. Mm-hmm. But you're trying to think, what do I say that's going to impress them? In order to successfully hit on them, you have to use one of the things that I've preordained. So I've written down some specifics for each thing. Okay. And if you say one of those, you are most likely going to get the, uh, take a seat. Okay. But we all. But we don't get to know what the preordained things are. No, no, no. You're you're sitting there in the corner going, all right, what am I going to say? Oh, oh, we don't know what the preordained things are. So it's just like there's a secret code to get someone to have sex with you like we all thought there was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that's why that's why it's take a seat. Yeah. We're not we're not there yet. Okay, it's, all right. It's a it's a you've said something that that is interesting enough that's worthy of heaven. I will say take a seat makes me think of a bad thing. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> like, take a take seat. A seat. Is, now we true. need to have a talk right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, there is that version of it. In this version, it's more like the pers- they have an open seat next to them. And I was like, like oh. what is their glass <laughs> clinking? We're in a bar. Yeah, you're in a bar. Uh, we're in a bar. Um, so we'll start with you, Pam. Okay. You're going to hit on a mandolin. You know what a mandolin is, I assume? <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> it's not that, oh, no, no, <laughs> it's no. not that crazy. <laughs> okay. So take a beat and uh, go up to this mandolin. Um, and I'll, I'll play the mandolin, I guess. Hey, uh, uh, haven't I seen you around the king's court? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I th- I'm waiting for somebody. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, All right. You know what? Um, <laughs> no, 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 wait. Oh, no. We only got one shot in it. Yeah, it's a one shot. Wait, it's let one me shot do it. Deal. Let me do it again. Oh, do All I get right. the runoff? You can try again. So, so you can try this time, Emily. Okay. Let's see if you can nail it. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'm Captain Corelli. No, I'm, Captain Corelli's mandolin. No, you haven't seen I'm that so, movie. So sorry, Here, I'll, I'll tell you what what you had to say. I can't want to get. Some can't, we, can we just go one more time? Because now we're going. <laughs> right, well, right, oh, right, I'm, right. I'm confident I'm not going to get it. <laughs> okay, all right. Pam, hey, I'll give you one more shot. But we, we we have a bunch of people to hit on. This okay, is far as okay, okay. This is my one shot, and uh-huh. it is um. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you've got strings I'd like to strum. Take a seat. The yeah. strings. See, sometimes it's that simple. Sometimes it's just the simple okay. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. overthinking it as we're usual. Learning. It depends. We're learning. Yeah. We're learning. We're learning. But it does we're depend. Like, sometimes you do have to overthink. We're it. like AI. All right. So we'll start with you, Emily. This yeah. is you have to hit on Helsinki. You're Helsinki. familiar with Helsinki? Yeah. Okay. No, actually, no. Okay. Okay. It's, I'll, I'll tell you this, but it's in, it's fin- in Finland. Yes, I know that. Correct. All right. Okay. Um, hey, baby, wanna have sex? Mm. Was that it? No. 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 I like the, I like the fresh. <laughs> the approach. direct approach. Yeah. Pam, whenever you're ready, fin- uh, Helsinki. Uh, hi. I would like to lay on an animal skin with you. Uh, oh. no, we're going to move past it. This is very specific to Helsinki. So okay. I feel like we're not going to get lame. There. Are you uh, going to tell us what it was? Yeah. You had a large list. You could have said anything about Nordic or saunas. Oh. Uh, you could have mentioned the Baltic sea. Do we have to say sauna like that? <laughs> Can I say it like that? <laughs> My fucking accent. All right. Um, this is Christoph Waltz. We all know Christoph Waltz. Oh, so yeah. let's, uh, let's start with you, Pam. 
Hi, I loved you in Django Unchained. Take a seat. Of course. Ah. Yes. A compliment. Actors, Very they good. love compliments. Yeah. Idiots. Well, yeah, but I, I didn't. I only had Django Unchained and Inglorious Bastards. So, oh, that's all I, I mean, those are his biggest movies. So, I yeah. guess that. But you, you nailed it. All right. Uh, St. Vincent, the musician. Are you familiar, Emily? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. Um, hey, uh, can I buy you a drink? I promise I won't ask you what your real name is. I'm going to give it to you. Take a seat. Okay. Yeah, I did have a real name uh, written down, but I, I, I like that. I like that approach. Oops, I accidentally hit the boo. <laughs> no, I hit the helm. Oh, oh, it's a uh, Bigfoot's that's the old here. Bigfoot. Uh, all right, uh, Pam, this is a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Oh, hello. I'd like to put you together and then take you apart. <laughs> I like to very so- good. I'm going to give you a half point. That was a great pickup line. It didn't mention solving. It, well, let's let Emily Finish. have her shot. Um, hey, I'd love to touch some of your edge pieces. That's great. Take a seat. <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, you clearly know. Edge pieces, wonderful. All right, we'll do. Uh, we'll do three, uh, two more. Let's, uh, all right. Um, you have to hit her on a monocle, Emily. A monocle. Oh, um, a monocle. Okay. Um, hey, uh, did I catch your eye? I'll give you a half point. That okay. is a good, good pickup good. line. That All is right. great. Pa- but uh, Pam, you can get the full point still. I'm not trying to win the game. I'm just trying to make everyone horny. Is it working? Did, it, did everybody hear that? Yeah. Emily is not trying to win the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm horny, <laughs> and I don't like it. Okay. Um, Ooh, I'd like to close one of my eyes and look through you with the other. I'm going to give it to you. I'll say take a seat. It's a single vision. but the Single yes. yeah, vision, yeah, yeah. single vision. That. All right, we'll do one more. Let's do... Uh, um, all right, we'll do uh, Aragorn from uh, Lord of the Rings. Pass. Yes, also. How's it going? I haven't seen any of your movies. <laughs> well, okay. I'm nagging you. Is it working? <laughs> yes, full point. Emily wins. Oh, man. Great job. Great job, Emily. Um, all right. This next game is called Hip to the Sound Clip. You each have to guess the sound clip that you're making. Obviously, you're really just making it with your voice. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just try and get you, guess each other's. It's a team effort. There's no you know real winners or losers. You're both like vying. Okay. assist each other. Okay, okay. so it's teamwork. It's teamwork. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's having teamwork. a good time. Yeah. So whereas before we were competitors, now, now, now you're on the now same team. So uh, let's get uh, a little bit of fun music going. And All right, so whenever you're ready, you're going to... Who's going first? Uh, we'll start with Pam. Pam. <laughs> boop. 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 A boop. A busy signal. I'll give you a, oh, a, a, oh, one a more. Grocery, grocery store uh, checkout. Oh, shoot. I suck. No. Pam. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're <Christ>. incredible. <laughs> Damn. Um, it was a submarine sonar ping. Oh, yeah. you it's were very, right. It's what a, you did yeah. was right. But you said the things you said were good. <laughs> Uh, it's not your fault that that sounds exactly the same as mm-hmm. a submarine sonar and and a we're not allowed to clerk. use miming, right? You uh, so you are allowed to use words, but you can't use descriptive words. Oh, we're allowed to use okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, obviously, there was not many words you could use in that for that one, but yeah. you'll see later on you could use words. Oh, so I could not. act out the thing. You can kind of act it out. Just don't don't give away. Uh, like don't say a detail that. Yeah. You know, don't be like, I'm going to the submarine yeah. now. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Is it my turn? Yes, we're it's your turn. Can I okay. ask one more question? Yeah. Like, could I have been like, boop, boop, missile? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I okay. think that would have worked. All right. Worked. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay, Let's okay. just go okay. back in our time machine <laughs> real <Yeah>. quick. <laughs> Thank God we invented it for this specific yeah. purpose. And just remember, this is very important. I, yeah. It is the, to me. The stakes I'm could Emily, not be higher. <laughs> I'm letting you down. Okay. All right. Here we go. 
<laughs> a- AOL dial up? Yes, yes. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I've been waiting for this day my whole life. That was amazing. <laughs> that Emily. was amazing. That was amazing. I nailed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you want a little more? <laughs> yep. That's amazing. Get off the line. <laughs> I have to make an important call. Um, okay, I right, really Pam, have questions about what I'm allowed to do on this, but okay. I mean, you can use anything that isn't descriptive. We'll talk. We'll talk through it after you try. Give it a try. Yeah. Okay. D T T war D T T is D T T over oh. D T D Well like a telegraph? Like a uh Yeah you 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 got one part of it. Like a Morse code? You got yeah. that one yes, part. That's okay. one part. And then uh, War <laughs> is D T T over D T T it's Churchill telling us that uh, oh, that World was... War II's done. I don't know. <laughs> is, is it is it's, who who is it's, it's supposed to be famous actor? So who, oh. who is that supposed to be? Uh, oh, it could have been anybody. <laughs> oh, <did laughs> you just been, I was just like being dramatic. You were just or like whatever. just sort of channeling the idea <laughs> of fame, this. kind of an yes, abstract. Exactly. You got, exactly. Yeah, you get it. You get it. You get me now. Yeah. Um, you got to have. I thought you did great. Let's okay. uh, let's move, uh, Emily. You're, you're okay, turning. so like bearing in mind mm-hmm. your approach to the last one, I'm going to do something similar to this mm-hmm. one. Okay. okay. Um. Ooh, me, 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 me. Ooh, I dropped it. <laughs> Is that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, okay. So, a singer warming up? But the, the, what was it? the last part? Is that part of it? Yeah, though? a singer okay. is part of it. A singer warming up. Oh, I dropped it, and they lost their voice, or <laughs> no? They dropped a dish. Yeah. Dropped a dish. It's oh, okay. I should have found the. Yeah. There's too many sound effects. Oh, okay. oh that would have helped. I, yeah. it, it would really help to have the dropping a dish and also being a famous singer. Um. All right, Pam, your turn. Okay. Meow, mate. <laughs> a, cat, a cat playing a didgeridoo. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh my thank god! You, really good thank didgeridoo. You. Nailed yeah, it. Thank you. Oh, that was so great. Okay. I love the meow mate. I you brilliant. I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice doing this one. Well, don't don't lose your voice. You no, I have. I, it's I, worth it. It's I worth it. must commit. It's okay. worth it. A donkey using a chainsaw? Correct. Yes. Yes. Very good. That was perfection. Thank you so much. You both are crushing this. Okay. Um. (laughs) Okay. Uh. Uh. Brr. I'm walking here. I mean, um, a New Yorker, um, ice fishing. Yes, you nailed it. It's a New Yorker walking on an ice covered lake that starts to crack, but you nailed it. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Camilla, please give me some oil. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, um, Okay. <laughs> It's a Tin Man, but it's Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see that show. Oh, uh, really close, kind of. Should yeah. I do it again, or should I? Yeah, give you it? can do it. Okay. You can do it again, or if you want to, whatever you want to uh, do. Wanna... <clears throat> Camilla, Will, Kate, <clears throat> will you help me with this entrance? <clears throat> oh, shoot. Um. 
<laughs> well, Kate. Oh my God, it's not. Wait, okay, is it Downtown Abbey? No, <laughs> no but it's it's a king fixing a squeaky door. So she was doing uh, we Charles. We all forget oh, the Camilla. Charles. Yeah. Like, who the are they? Yeah. But I heard. I understand. <laughs> you heard Camilla. You went uh, Fraser. Yeah, yeah, and then okay. when it was yeah. Will and Kate, I was like, they're on some <laughs> show. What show is this? What show? The is show is it? The Crown, and this was the episode was where the he's fixing a squeaky door hinge <laughs> um all right one more each so okay you know, whenever you're ready okay oh no okay um um uh they're great but this stinks yuck um it's tony the tiger um stuck in traffic uh, close. Okay, can I do it again? Yeah, you got the first part. We'll okay. give it the first okay. part. They're great, but this bag of stuff stinks. <laughs> Tony the Tiger um, picking up after a dog. That, mm. was, that was too. Oh, it's taking out the garbage. Uh, that was too uh, yeah. um, uh, descriptive. But this stuff in this bag the stinks. Stuff in this bag stinks. <laughs> that could have been I anything. I still do. Wait, wait. <laughs> Garbage man, wait for me. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. This one mm. I have so much confidence in. Okay. I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> oh God, it's already, it's already Popeye, gone off the Popeye, rails. Popeye, Popeye. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 Uh, oh, it, uh, I, I want me money back. It fit before I ate that spinach. I want my money back what? It fit before I ate me spinach. I want my money back. It fit before I ate my <laughs> spinach. Um, uh, okay. Either, okay, either returning an outfit? <gasps> yes. yes. You nailed it. Popeye <laughs> okay. returning in a, a shirt at Macy's. I don't know oh. how I was supposed to get Macy's across. Yeah, Macy's across. would have been impossible. You would have impossible. been like, I know you've got a Thanksgiving Day parade to run. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. There. Of course. Of course. would have been great. I guess I'm a fucking idiot. No. I'm, uh, <laughs> never, um, never. What, uh, the smartest one here. <laughs> Guarantee you. You guys are both very smart. No, um, I'm dumb. That's my brand. Damn. <laughs> uh, what's one time you didn't stand up for yourself, either of you? Plenty. Uh, I was trying to think of what time I did. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I was um, walking behind my house when I was in college, and uh, I lived like by this creek. And all of a sudden, this Doberman came running at me and like oh. barking. It was so scary. And it wasn't on a leash, but it had like a weird collar on. And the owner acted like I, the owner was like, just say Hans. Oh my Hans. God. <laughs> and like he, the dog was jumping on me, yeah. and the owner acted like I was supposed to already know how to deal with this. Yeah. And I'll, I was just like Hans. It's so. And I should have just been like, put your dog on a leash. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you were. Don't like, expect everyone else to know how to deal with your dog and know your dog's name. Did you just like walk away? You were like, I, I just stood perfectly yeah. still until he like, yeah. <sighs> Anyway, but aren't you his dog trainer? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just say Hans. Oh, right. I oh, right, taught yeah. you that. I taught you that in a lesson. <laughs> um, a Doberman is a terrifying dog. Off yeah. Leash. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I like them. They're good dogs. I and mean, I've met, I've met nice Dobermans. But, but yeah. the when, context is really important. Yeah. 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 I would be very scared. Yeah. To see an unknown Doberman coming at me. Yeah. I, I can't. Um, I honestly can't think of anything. I'm just like, anytime someone always, gives me any bit of pushback, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, okay. And I never think to do well, anything about anything. Well, that's okay. Because actually, Emily, I knew about that story and I had the uh, Doberman uh, oh. call in. Oh, oh really? Wow. It's Hans is here? Well, actually, I'm the Doberman. I'm the yeah. Dog. Hans, Hans was the dog. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I just wanted to call and uh, Rob Stern said you'd be on the show, so I want to call and apologize. I'm, I really appreciate that. Are you? You must be on your deathbed. I'm pretty because, old. Yeah, yeah. It was, that was a good yeah. twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but I lived a good life, good long life. Yeah, you scared a lot of college girls. Mm. That must have been a, quite a thrill for you. Uh, well, I was just a young idiot, you know, stupid, yeah. you know. I uh. 
I took a Title IX course <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> kind of learned. Yeah, you've made amends. I've made amends. Yeah. Kind of doing the rounds. You're actually a, a number of, uh, uh, there's a number of the, uh, people that I'm calling to apologize. To. Yeah. Was there mm. anyone that you did something worse to than me? Oh, no, no. I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not no, a was psychopath. Just... <laughs> I'm just, you know. You're just, just like scaring people. Well, yeah. It didn't, you know, it seemed kind of the thing to do back then. And obviously, you know, with everything <laughs> in the internet, uh, things have changed and we're, right. just, we're all learning to be better. So, yeah. Including well, me. I'm sorry I uh, barked at you. And uh, I will, yeah. I appreciate that. And um, mm. I will say, like, that's a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh wow! You, you get you gave, gave him freedom. Him, I gave him finally freedom. killed him, go. like I <laughs> always <let> wanted. <laughs> he could let go. <laughs> he could let go. He just needed to hear that. Just he going over wow, that's so beautiful. Bridge. Wow, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> this game is called Social Sleuth. So I was a big creep, and I went and checked up your social medias. Oh, okay. mine's boring. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, you went back to Facebook in 2010. I'm going to describe a post I found of you on your social media and slowly reveal information about it as you try and figure out what it is. OK, so uh, we bounce back and forth between you two. Obviously, the first one to get it correct wins. Okay. Uh, uh, listeners at home, feel free to follow along by stalking either Pam Murphy or Emily Heller <laughs> on their social media and try and figure out which uh, which post I'm talking about. So we'll start with you, Pam, and we'll go kind of snake style. So I'll start with you, then Emily will get two, then we'll go back to you. So in okay. total, you each get six. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get some good. I didn't realize that was snake style. I don't know if that is. I'm using it that way. Well, yeah, uh, I like it. Um, let's put well, on. McLaughlin would say, I have a snake meal in the middle of the day. And I thought that meant snaking, connecting lunch and dinner. Oh. And he meant one big meal, like a snake eats one big oh, meal. Oh, okay. Oh. So for years, I totally misinterpreted. Well, is this Will Hines? Will McLaughlin. Oh, Will McLaughlin. Okay. <laughs> I outed uh-huh. you, Will, <laughs> and your snake meal. Um. <laughs> that's a cat getting eaten by a snake <laughs> yeah. uh, alright let's do this this is um, social sleuth alright Pam here yeah. is your clues to yeah. start uh-huh. your first clue maroon and aqua blue maroon and aqua blue mm-hmm. nothing nothing okay okay Emily yeah Light blue, brown, and dark green. Light blue, brown, and dark green. And so I'm supposed to think about like what of my social posts this is. Yeah, Emily's at a huge disadvantage. She posted about a million times more than (laughs) (laughs) me. Light blue, brown, and And dark dark green. green. It's a beautiful forest and a clear blue sky. Do you know what post it is? It's that one I did of the beautiful forest and the clear blue sky. <laughs> mm, I'm going to force you Ooh. to be a little more descriptive. Oh. Okay. Pam, here's your next Wait, clue. Wait, was it mar- It was maroon and what? Was maroon one? and aqua blue. Okay. Your next clue. There's a speaker on the wall and you're wearing a gray sweatshirt. There's a speaker on the wall and I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt. There's a speaker on the wall, and I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt, maroon and aqua blue. That's the one. Um, All right. Emily, you just get one word. Okay. Road. Road. And then it, this is the same post as before. Yeah, it's always it's okay. all the same post. I'm just giving and you more so and more detail. And so it's light blue, brown... And okay, so is it the one where me and my family are um, walking down the road? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. All right, Pam. Wait, are these all Instagram? Are there anything? It could be anything. Okay, yeah. Pam, you get one word. It or I guess it's a compound word. I don't know. Makeup. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Makeup. There's a speaker on the wall. I 
feel like he's describing a dream. Maroon and uh, and aqua blue just makeup. Like, oh, maroon and aqua blue makeup. <laughs> Wait, there's a speaker on the wall, and I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt. Do I have like a like a paisley blue thing on my face? No. You no. do. And I'm wearing like a bodysuit too. Uh, it doesn't show that. Okay, it doesn't show that. I'm wearing a grace. Oh, and I'm kind of going like this. And I have like a thing on it. Yeah. And I have like a hair that's it's and I have blue eyelashes on. Yeah. Okay. So what else do I have to guess about it? You have to guess what you wrote for the post. Oh my god, what I wrote for the yeah, post. Yeah, you can think of details of that post. I know what the day was and what it was for. Oh we'll, we'll come back to it. I'll, I'll, Is it like I, I, you're very it? close, Emily? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to give you two clues because okay. Pam almost, almost has hers. Woods and sign. Woods and sign. So it's probably a picture of a sign that I took in the woods. And it says, this way to the guns. <laughs> okay, kind of. so you know I think something. it was like, was it a post that I took of, like a picture I took of a sign in West Virginia? Yes. Okay. That said something crazy that we would never have in California. Um, yes. And you don't remember what the sign I said. I don't remember what the sign said. All right. We're almost done. So I'm okay. just going to give Pam, I'll give you one more. Oh, I get another uh, thing. thing. Yeah. I'm going to give you one more clue. Come on. It's snake style. This was in 2013. <laughs> and you- We all know how that works. <laughs> and uh, I know what the day was and I know what the thing is with the blue eyelashes. To, in the post, you wrote two people's names. Danielle and Donna. That's correct. Danielle and Donna, thanks, Danielle, or like something about, did I say like Yeah, you said Danielle, uh, Danielle and Donna gave me a makeover last week. Oh. In 2013. Gave me a makeover wow. last week. That is it. Oh, my God. All right, I can't so, believe I was wearing a gray sweatshirt, but I remember, that's Donna right Emily, there. Emily, I'll give you one more clue. Okay. Hunting. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to remember what this sign says, no. Okay. Uh, it says hunting store for women. Oh yeah! In West Virginia, it was a hunting store specifically for women. Oh yeah! That you took a photo of, and I should have gone there. This is Facebook, right? This, that is Facebook. This yeah. is Facebook. Wow. No, yours is Instagram. Mine is Instagram. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. There you go. I remember this. I remember this pic. I remember this day. So I knew it was Danielle and Donna, but I can't remember. I couldn't remember that I. What I said about it, but and it's hilarious. What was the what day? I said. What was, it was the hilarious. day? It was like they were shooting a pilot presentation, and I had actually the outfit that I wore was like this crazy. I was like a circus performer, and the outfit I was wearing was like this onesie. Oh my that god! That was actually flattering. the makeup's incredible. Though. It was like oh, yeah. this like skin tight thing that had a lot of con- like control. Okay, yeah. And like actually, I mean, it's a great photo. That makeup is that amazing. That makeup's really it's cool. It's really good. Yeah. Didn't they do a great job? They did a great job. So what are you supposed to be? You're supposed to be a... Something like Andy Richter was my dad or something, and I was like a rebel. I I forget okay. what it was. I was like a rebel, <laughs> but I was like, I'm a circus performer. And I remember I was like, <laughs> had much more flexibility. <laughs> I like had my leg up on a table and was like stretching oh and my like God. kind of being like, shut up, dad. You don't know me or something like that. That's um, funny. And Emily, what were you doing in West Virginia? Uh, my husband has family there. So, oh, nice! Uh, we were probably we were probably visiting his family, and this is you know I'm from California. Yeah, uh, it's all it's all a, a quite a novelty to me. Um, I mean, West Virginia is beautiful for women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, um, West Virginia is absolutely uh, beautiful. That's why they wrote that Country Roads song about it. I know. That was in my head the entire, the entire time, time I was there. <laughs> Although we did stay. West Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Mountain <laughs> Mama. <laughs> it did kind of alternate because we were also staying in a hotel that had a view of a graveyard. So like half the time, Monster Mash. Oh my and God. then the other half, Country Roads. Yeah, it, I watched a whole... <laughs> A documentary where a guy just it's not a documentary it's like this YouTube channel where the guy it's like each video is like two hours he just goes to rural areas and walks around because it's always everybody I found it because I actually had an idea like that because in California they have tons of those where it's like yeah. these places where you're like who the 
hell lives here? And this guy did, did it, it does that. His channel is he he's like, he goes who lives like, here? And so he just pulls over, pulls out his camera and just starts interviewing people. I think people. I've seen some of that. Yeah. But also we have that in California and it's called Huel Hauser. And oh, well, he's not yeah. around. Anymore. He's not around, but yeah. you can still watch still it. Still watch it, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, but West Virginia is uh, have and have nots is what I learned from his documentary. So it's, oh, yeah, there's 100%. no middle ground. It's either you are broke or you're doing fine. Yeah, and, that's uh, why California is too. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple people in California who there's are a, in the middle. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. There's a few. few in the middle. Yeah, I don't know them, but I know yeah. they exist. Um, have you ever had a big misunderstanding, either of you? Yes. Uh, what was it? Oh, I wasn't expecting a follow-up question. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> um, when I was in college, I lived in the dorms, and, like, you could see, like, there were two dorm buildings kind of across a little walkway from each other, and if you had your curtains open, you could kind of, like, see into the rooms on in the other building, oh. and I am nearsighted, so when I take my glasses off, I, like, can't see things that are in the distance, and I used to have my computer right by the window, and I would take my glasses off to work on the computer and then I would like space out and look out the window and one day uh, someone in the other building started shining a flashlight in my eyes and I like over and over again and then I like looked over and I was like what yeah (laughs) and they shouted look at the sign and they had made a sign that said stop watching us change what the hell? Which was the first I had learned that they thought I was doing that. Oh, my God. They also lived a floor below my friends, who I would sometimes, like, you know, wave at. <laughs> and um, and I was like, I'm not watching you change. Like, Did you make I a sign? I can't see anything. Well, um, <laughs> uh, my roommate, who was the coolest... And is probably still the coolest. Um, she made a sign that was just a pair of eyeballs <laughs> and put yeah, it up so in funny. the window. But that's I was great. like, "Hey, you know, you can close your curtains if you're 100%, worried about that." One hundred percent. They were. Um, they clearly they like the drama. Yes. Yeah. And also, oh my god, yeah. she's at it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they also might have shouted something homophobic at me, but uh, I was like, I'm not a lesbian. I'm just nearsighted. I'm just spacing out. Which is a common thing we all have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> For sure. But also the shining of the flashlight multiple times. It's so and you yeah. being ridiculous. Like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. I think it was like multiple nights of them doing it before they actually revealed their agenda to me. You were like, we see you. Messy. We see you looking at us. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. It really seems like you hate attention. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, uh, and uh, Pam, have you ever had a, a misunderstanding? Have I ever had a misunderstanding? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a terrible memory of my life. <laughs> Me too. I, I feel like I b- block most of it out. Uh, yeah, I'm like, no yeah. good. Get yeah. that out of there. Yes. You know, let's try and fill it up with some positive memories. Um, I'm trying to think if I ever had a misunderstanding. I don't know. I've done stupid stuff, but I don't know if that counts as misunderstanding because that's my fault. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of uh, anything. You, you do not have to think of something. I didn't mean to put you in that. No, position. no, I should be able to think of something. Because I'm trying to think of something too, and I can't either. You I, can't? But this is why I like. I, You're I, both just perfectly interpreted no, by no. the world around you no, at Emily, all times. No, you are misunderstanding. We are both clearly. <laughs> this is it. This is it right now. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is it. Yes. We <laughs> had the misunderstanding this right here. We just don't remember. We just don't remember. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you- I have one. I have one. I have one. I have one. Um, um, uh, I'll tell you a stupid thing. Yeah, please. Um, that's not really. It's like me misunderstanding, I guess. So anyway, when I was in high school and like I got busted for weed mm. and um, I in a car with because my friend was driving and he ran through a red light because his brakes didn't work on his car so he like ran through a red light oh my god a cop was like there immediately and this was before school we were gonna smoke weed and uh, you know <laughs> and um so we get pulled over the cop finds the weed the guy my friend was 18 so they took him to jail and then they took me and my friend to school <laughs> 
just dropped us. Oh, they us. just totally. They just like dropped us off at school uh, and like told the principal that we're in like, like we're released to the school under their supervision. And, oh my God. And, but here's the other thing. This actually, this okay, is a combination I'm, of like all of the worst paranoid high thoughts is like the cops are going to come yeah. and they're going to tell a bunch of people that you know that you're high. Yeah. Everyone's going to know that you're high. <laughs> so actually now I'm realizing it is a misunderstanding because this is so dumb of me. When we were pulling away, it was my weed and my friend oh my was 18 God. and they were arresting him because it was like, you know, I was yeah. a minor and I was like, officer. The marijuana was mine. <laughs> and he was like, shut up. And like, <laughs> did just drop me off at school and uh. like, just didn't pay attention. So that guy always thought that I just like blamed him and let him take the fall for it. And I was oh like, I God. said it was my weed. And like, which I shouldn't have said anyway. I shouldn't have said anyway. But well, it wouldn't have just, mattered. If, it wouldn't if, have mattered. Even if you say it's yours, it's still the, the driver. That's be- why people get pissed when they find out their friends have drugs on them without telling them. Because yeah. it's like you can... You get in trouble as the driver, regardless. Yeah, of yeah. What's in so your that's car. what. That's and what to be happened. fair, he should have. He ran bring, the red light. Yeah, he should he have ran the red light. Yeah, yeah, he ran the red light. Yeah. I'm then not saying other, he should go to jail for that, yeah. but but the other dumb thing that he did was that yeah. he like pulled into someone's driveway. Do you want to apologize to him now? No, I said what I said. <laughs> I I try to take the I try what's to take it, the blame. It, what's his What's his name? His real name is Kenny Rogers. <laughs> no fucking way. I swear to you. Oh my god. I swear god. to you. So then, so the other person, my other he friend, he did was, not know when to walk away <laughs> and when to run. The other friend that was in the car, they are married. They got married and they have like two or three kids or something. Oh my but gosh. um, but we were supposed to go to like Metallica concert after school that night. That's why I had weed or whatever. Uh, and um, such a bummer. So I guess they told the principal that they had to call our parents to come pick us up or whatever. And I was like, well, I guess we can't go to the concert. My parents didn't give a fuck. Like I could have gone to the concert, but like, <laughs> they didn't care. They were just like, what happened? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> we got busted for weed or whatever. My parents wouldn't have cared if I went to the concert or not. But oh my I God. think that's I, awesome. Your parents didn't care back then. I feel like that. Well, like, I have like five older siblings who oh, are just like wild, yeah, wild, yeah. wild. They were like, You haven't killed anybody? You're yeah, great. Yeah, they were just like, I mean, my brother would like steal my parents, steal cars, not even my parents' car, other people's cars when he was 12. Oh my they God. Were oh, wow. They were wild. They were wild. Oh, this is crazy, Pam. <laughs> oh no. I know. Is it? Hey, uh, Pam, it's me. It's Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Hey, Kenny, man, long yeah, time no see. Yeah, long time no see. Uh, well, look, uh, I just want to call and put this under the bridge. Okay. You know, uh, I know you told them that it was my weed. You do know now. I you know believe they, me, finally. No, no, I know you told you told them that it was my weed. No, dude. <laughs> was, I know you told them. <laughs> I never I said you, that. So let's put it under the bridge. No, no. Let's put the water under look, the bridge. Look, ask your wife. Ask your wife. She was in the cop car with me when we were 16 years old. Ask her. Ask her. I, I did, and she's a liar like all women. <laughs> oh, Kenny, see? This so is, it's water under the bridge now. No, it's no. It's not water under the bridge. <laughs> Emily, I'm a big fan. Goodbye. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I don't think you want him as a fan. That's uh, his wife. <laughs> I, I forget my name. Christine. <laughs> Christine. Um, I just wanted to say, um, I know you did it on purpose, and um, I forgive you because... Um, I'm a really good person. I set you guys up, okay? <laughs> I'm the one who set you guys up. Jerks. Uh, good luck in life. Uh, this game is called Know Your Work. Now, both of you are uh, successful TV people. Pam is Thanks a for voice saying that. on... Thanks for saying that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pam is a voice on Crapopolis, and uh, Emily, the producer and writer on Barry... Um, what you're going to have to do in this game is uh, read. This is the first season of each uh, of your shows. Oh, no. And, Pam, you're going to have to make up a third episode in each round. So you see there's two real descriptions of actual episodes. Okay. And then the third one you have to make up. Obviously, you want to switch up that order. And then you each have to guess which one was made up. So we'll start with you, Pam. You got to make up crap opposite. I'm not a good liar. I mean, well, Emily's seen every episode. So she'll <laughs> probably she easily guess what. All right. This is called Know Your Work. Pam, Crapopolis, season one, round one. 
Okay, round one. Episode, Family Dysfunction at Its Finest. Tyrannus, the ruler, deals with war threats while his mother, Deliria, craves a temple and his dad, Schlub, helps Stupendous, his half-sister, find her missing parent. I'm fucking... I can't read. I'm like... (laughs) I can't read the sentence. It's a, the runniest, Wait. honest sentence in but, all but time. Pam, you may have made that up, remember? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one I made up. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, let me just do one more. <laughs> Take it from the top. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrannus, the ruler, deals with war threats while his Wait, mother... You're rereading? Yeah, you yeah. Move on. Well, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hippocampus, Tyrannus' science-minded brother, gets into explosive situations. All right, so you have to read two more. One of them is made up. Okay. Um, a hive mind. Tyrannus, the ruler deals with the threat from bees. Bees have overrun the city of Crapopolis. Stupendous, with the help of her half-brother Hippocampus, invents a machine that wrangles the bees. Meanwhile, Deliria is having a crisis with her husband, Schlub. They've lost their sex drive. And the third one? Games and Grudges. Tyrannus hosts a competition for visiting kings, but Deliria steals the show. Hippocampus and Schlub become monster hunters. So I have to guess which one is fake. Which one? Family dysfunction at its finest, hive mind or games and grudges? Hive mind. I am a f- terrible. <laughs> I thought you did great. I thought you did great. But yeah, Emily, you are correct. Okay. All right, Emily, your turn. Round one, Barry, season one. Okay. So I'm reading both of these and then I, I'm also adding <laughs> or one. Or, you know, mix up the order. So Okay. Uh, yeah. But so there's two here and then I'm also exactly. saying another one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Make your mark. Barry, a hitman from the Midwest, travels to Los Angeles for a job and ends up finding a new passion in acting use it barry tries to balance his new acting class with his hitman responsibilities leading to conflicted emotions and difficult choices project barry's work as a hitman puts him in hot water with his acting class when he has to hide his secret life wait what can you read the second one Barry tries to balance his new acting class with his hitman responsibilities, leading to conflicted emotions and difficult choices. <laughs> These all so sound just for, real. These so, all sound yeah, real. And just for the future, you can't ask them to read, read, because okay, that's okay, an easy okay. way to... Oh, okay. I'm sorry to catch you. <laughs> to catch you. So which one would you guess? But they're all real. They're all real. She did a great job, but you have to guess. Uh, they're all real. Just say one, two, or three. Um. Okay... Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, the hot water with his acting class one. <laughs> yeah, great job. It is, you did it, it. Yes. Yeah, that was impossible because they're all very. Pretty much every episode is like Barry's living a double life. What's he gonna do? Yeah, I was like, it is okay. All right, Pam, round two. Love, lies, and lincanthropy. Okay. <laughs> Did I say the word wrong? <laughs> That's the real one. <laughs> I told you I'm dumb. No, you're not. It's okay. lycanthropy. <laughs> lycanthropy. I think uh, this is a real one. <laughs> is, that a, is that a real word? Is that a real word? <laughs> it is a real word. Tyrannus starts dating a goddess, but Deliria interferes. Hippocampus, Stupendous, and Schlub encounter a pack of creatures not quite sure if friend or foe. Frenemies and family. Tyrannus releases a popular god. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Tyrannus releases a particular (laughs) god. What's what's it the god of? Um, well, well, uh, <laughs> Only to discover a surprising connection to Deliria. Schlub embarks on a quest with Stupendous. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all Greek to me. Mm. A map maker comes to Crapopolis and informs them that there are other cities. The city of Rome. The city. <laughs> <laughs> Of, You're nailing it. You're nailing it. It's really good. Of Athens. <laughs> uh, and the city of my jeer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Emily, do you know which one you think is? I think, I think the second one's fake. Or no, it was the third one? It was the third okay. one. Okay. It's you really... Her, well, she fucked you up because she... I said she the wrong word. misread the words. So I misread the words. She corrected herself, so corrected but it sounded myself. like she was making it up. It's yeah. really hard to it tell when the episode titles are starting. <laughs> yes. Okay, this Good is point. So, I, this is so, so yeah. hard. So just to be clear, you wrote to the two... The two that are written down are real? Yes. Okay. Those are real Because some ones. of these I'm like, I guess that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is it my turn? It is your turn, yes. Okay. Um, make the unsafe choice. Barry wrestles with guilt and his violent past as he navigates relationships and his burgeoning acting career. The first impression is most important. Cousineau's past comes back to haunt him in a special episode focused on this character. Commit to you. Barry faces increasing pressure from his criminal life while trying to commit fully to his acting aspirations. Is the Kusinos one? Yeah, that was wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. I, I'm impressed. You uh, they were, were really good, yeah. and I was just like, I don't remember and that episode. Um, <laughs> yeah. and that episode dedicated. Just I should to just him. do some do some about episodes that I pitched that they didn't <laughs> let me do. <laughs> see, this is seeing this is where writing comes into handy yeah. here. Okay, uh, let's do one more round. Okay. okay, so we'll do just the third round. So Pam, okay. Justice, maybe? A new court system is formed after Schlub faces accusations. Hippocampus gets back at Deliria in a watery way. Party time. A wild celebration erupts when the gods of partying arrive in Crapopolis. A price to pay. The citizens of Crapopolis decide to use money for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I've got a great idea. <laughs> I think it's the money one. Yeah, it's the money one. <laughs> I'm an idiot. No, you're not. Oh my Stupid God. paper. <laughs> All right, Emily, one more. Um. <laughs> The Big Bang, Barry's acting aspirations are complicated by his PTSD from his deployment. Do your job. Barry struggles to maintain his double life as a hitman and aspiring actor, risking exposure in both worlds. Chapter 6, Listen with your ears, react with your face. Barry faces a crisis of identity and morality when his hitman past threatens his relationships and future. Huh. The third one? No, oh, she got gotcha. you. It was yes. the first one. It was the, the first, first one? one? Yeah, she nailed the... That was a nice... <laughs> that was, she just flew right into it. That was great. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. That uh, was smart that doing was it that smart. way. Yeah. All, of, all of the recaps on this are Barry's living a double life. And I added a detail that I thought would give it away. Uh, um, oh, yeah, because the one, the one that you did was like his... When he was in the military, right? Yeah. Does that even come up in season one that he's in the military? A great question. It must be. It, it, must be. Yeah, it does come up. No, it yeah. definitely okay. comes up. It comes up because they're like. That's what I got yeah. confused about if they showed him. Yeah. It does I don't come know up. if they, I don't know if they flash back to it, but they're like, he, he, it comes out in his acting class that he like killed someone and everyone's like, or it's like people are talking about like killing someone, making you a bad person. And he's like. You know, oh, and, and they're like, but it's okay him. if it's in wars. Yeah, I don't know. and he's yeah. like, how is that okay? <laughs> yeah. 
Or he's like, um, so okay, I guess I blew I'm that one. Okay, you're winning it's this. I told you, I told you all around. You're winning. Well, we're we're, do, we're done with games. Uh, we what, are. Yeah, one of the things <laughs> I thought I could have redeemed myself at some point, but um, that was like 15 well, the, hours. The of games. second half is just all just like you're going to be earning points against the first <laughs> half. Uh, so one of the things I like to do on my podcast is revisit classic TV pilots. I'm a big fan of television. Okay. Uh, so on your laps, each of you has a copy of the NYPD Blue pilot. <laughs> And uh, so we'll start. Pam, why don't you read? Uh, feel free to read it however you want. You can either skip stage directions or include them. Whatever feels the most comfortable to you. But this is the pilot to NYPD Blue. Very successful cop drama back in the 90s. Are we both reading it? Yeah, you can yeah. take turns uh, or do, do different parts, whatever yeah. I mean, you want to split if it If you want, I could do stage directions. And no, you can do I don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you do stage direction. You do stage mm-hmm. direction. And okay. It, and uh, and then I'll, you do all the dialogue. Okay, I'll try. So yeah. we'll just remember. You're the actor. I'm the, yeah. Of course, we have Andy Sipowitz. We have John Kelly, his partner. And of then course. we have uh, Wait, it's Alphonse. Andy Sipowitz? Andy Sipowitz. I thought it was Mike Sipowitz. No, it's I think it's Andy Sipowitz. Yeah, read the. Oh, maybe they changed it on the podcast. Oh, then, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's. So, sorry, say, say it again. Sipowitz. Sipowitz. Uh, Sipowitz, John Kelly, and. Um, uh, they're pursuing uh, Alphonse G. Radelli, the known mafia. Member. Okay. Um, interior, NYPD station. Detective Sipowitz stands at the podium addressing the officers. He clears his throat and then begins to speak. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, We got a lot of work to do today. We got a couple of stakeouts over there and a couple of stakeouts over here. Everyone's paying attention except for Kelly, who's uh, doing something very distracting. Kelly, put down that cat. (laughs) <laughs> Kelly, you idiot. Kelly puts the cat down and stares Sipowitz in the face. Oh, you got a problem with me, Kelly? No. No, I don't, Sipowitz. I just <laughs> brought my cat to work, okay? It's my therapy cat. <laughs> therapy cat? They don't have those in the 80s, you jerk. <laughs> Suddenly, the fire alarm starts going off. Oh. Beep, beep. Sipowitz has a look on his face like, this shit again? Oh, this God. shit again? <laughs> he says it too. Okay. We cut to exterior NYPD. Uh, all of the officers are now standing outside having mm. complied with the fire drill. Okay, I'm going to need to get a head count of everybody. Everybody stand with your group. <laughs> Sipowitz stands with Kelly. He whispers in his ear, now that we're alone, I, w- I want you to do... Oh, wait, sorry. He he decides to conspire with him, and now you do the dialogue. <laughs> Kelly, now that you're alone, <laughs> I think me and you should use that cat. Use it mm. to snare our enemy, that famous mafioso. Who Just then, tra- Sipowitz stops mid-sentence because he sees the mob guy across the street. His mm. name is Ciarelli. Uh, Girardelli. Gir- Girardelli, yeah. the chocolatier. <laughs> the famous chocolatier. Girardelli. There he is, that son of a bitch. Look at him. His hands are dripping with chocolate. Oh, I know oh, he's dirty. Oh, we got to get him. Kelly, put the cat down. <laughs> Kelly puts the cat down again, but what? this time it's a different cat. Wow, they had a lot of cats. Yeah. <laughs> New York City yeah. in the 80s, they were fucking everywhere. <laughs> Many more cats run by. <laughs> uh, suddenly, another officer approaches. Hey, guys. <laughs> Is that Girardelli over there? What do you want, Antony? <laughs> <laughs> and he drops his meatball sub on the ground, Ugh. clearly hurt by, <laughs> by <laughs> whatever the guy's name is, Sipowitz's. I was worse. just going to see if you wanted a bite of my sub. <laughs> and that's an act break, folks. That was <laughs> Cut great. to commercials. Well, well, stop there. That was great. Um, I have one more crazy thing, uh, Emily. This is actually a surprise. I really told the story of the... Uh, in the about the 
the dorm where the they they thought you were spying on them. Yeah. So uh, those girls, right? My, boys, men. It was girls. Yeah. It was uh, yeah. Girls. They wrote a song about you. What? Yeah. They were so. It's a really, really messed up. You know, let's take a listen. To this I see song. you over there. I see you. I see you looking at me. Yo, this slaps. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Watch me change my clothes. Watch me pick my nose. Watch my in your face. I see you. Flashlight in your face. What you gonna do? Bust it! Gotcha! Wow. Eyeballs on the window. <laughs> wow, good. I mean. What was the chorus of that song? I have no idea. It was Watch Me. It was Watch Me was the me. chorus. I, thought, I think so. Um, and Emily. You wrote a song back to them? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I guess you guys just had this little song beef going on. And what was what kind of song was yours? Was it country or rap or Um, it was kind of like it was kind of like a um uh I guess it was like a little bit of like a uh god, I just I really defy genre. So kinda... it was sort of like a scat jazz. Oh, okay. You know, Loved yeah, it. I got diss you. track. Yeah, of course. Let's uh, yeah. let's take a listen. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a banger. That is a banger. That was great. Um, where can we find uh, you online? Emily, we'll start with you. Um, I have been um, uh, co-hosting a new podcast about oh, yes. about Jeopardy. Great podcast. It's called What Is a Jeopardy Podcast. It comes out every Tuesday. We recap the games from the week before and talk about our favorite anecdotes and responses and all news and stuff in the world of Jeopardy. And it's very stupid. And I, if you watch Jeopardy or if you used to watch Jeopardy, it's for you. Check it out. And Pam, where can they find you online? That's a great name for a podcast. <laughs> Thank it's you a so great much. name for a Jeopardy <laughs> podcast. Oh, yeah. uh, at Murphy, please, on Instagram. I don't know. On Instagram? Yeah. Okay. That's and a place people want to be. Guess? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go uh, on there. Go on there. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you both for being on the show. Of course, this has been the uh, Robster <laughs> Show. Robster Show. Robster Show. Everybody's dancing. Robster show. Everybody's the angry. Robster the Robster Show. The Robster Show. The Robster Show. Oh, oh, oh. The Robster Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this, a web of lies? The show is a web of lies.